everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is my November TV on. Let's get going. So I just finished filming like one of the most epic months ever. I had hell of a time. There were definitely some struggles. I still have my like, Halloween decorations still up. I just don't want them to take it off. I just can't. But it was fun. I definitely need to plan a little bit better just because I kind of had like a time constraint. But honestly, I'm happy how it turned out. I hope you guys had fun. And I'm hoping it will be okay for next year because I had a really fun. I'm currently brainstorming as we speak. So, all that fun stuff. Without further ado, let us go to my November TV on. My first book is Mark Lawrence, but and that is the book that won in bud. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the world has never even noticed them. That's about to change. The stories spiral around each other across worlds and time. This is a tale of truth and lies and hearts and the blowing of one into another. A journey on which knowledge erodes certainty on which and throw a pen may be mightier than the sword. Blood will be spilled and cities burned. That sounds exciting. I don't know if I can read this because it's so big, but I'm excited for it. I think it'll be great and I will see how it goes. My next one is probably my favorite exciting read and that's Scotty of Dawn Zada by S.J. Jones. So I love Sailor Moons and I think it's really beautiful, interesting to see how it will be into a book. I love Sailor Moon, I love that anime, so um, yeah, Magician go missing, abominations emerge, and Zara's powers are going beyond her control. A demon has awoken in the morning realms, and Zara must find the elemental warrior within before the balance between order and chaos is lost forever. Guardian of Fire, there you are. So, I'm excited. I I think it will be turned out really nice. My next book is the sequel of House of Salt and Soul. So, that is the main tales of the Cloud of Magic Princess, and that is House of Roots and Villain by Aaron A. Craig. This is a sequel to the first book. Stun Valentine flees high more that night and with nowhere else to turn makes her way to bloom. At first she is captivated by the lush blood that the landscape and is quickly drawn to the charming witty and possibly had Alexander Lauren. To her surprise and romance blossoms. But some bit long before Valentine's plying with nightmares and the darker side of bloom begins to show through its sickly sweet facade. A modern masterpiece about doomed love Menacing ambition and the ghost that haunts us forever. So, I'm excited that she came back to this world. I really loved the first one. I hope this book won't be disappointing and it will be a fun time for us all. And my last one will be Silver in the Bone by Alexandra Bracken. So, as one spans, greedy Hollywood starts circling and many were killed to have it for themselves. While Emily's is the last person Tamsin would choose to partner with, she needs all the help she can get to edge out of her competitors in the race for the ring. Together they dive head first into a viper's nest of dark magic, exposing a deadly secret with the power of to a waking ghost of the past and shatter her last hope of saving her brother. It sounds cool, it sounds promising, I love the cover. I have read the the other book, Lord, which I cannot get into it unfortunately, but I am hoping this book will save me. <laughs> so it really sounds interesting, so I'm hoping you'll be okay. So that was my TBR for November. Will I make it? I don't know. I am hoping you'll be. I can make it. It's been a while since I have a TBR, even though I had one starting October. But we will see how it goes. They are both heavy and thick, so it's gonna take me some time to finish it. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get back. Um, should I take a break? Probably. But I am back to my normal schedule every Sunday and every Tuesday. 
So it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how this is gonna be feel. Um, but yeah, I'm also get ready for Christmas decorations that will be coming up soon. I am also thinking of doing a vlog for the immortal longings, kind of like a 24 hour kind of thing. But um, I'm excited for it. It's good to have a TV on again. Even though I am working on my finale, I am working on the edits. So yeah, I'm excited and um, Please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. I will see you in my next one. Bye!